Joiner, lovely ball to Kier. Kier there. Good try. Made by your defense. I've always enjoyed, I mean, I, I love this competition. I, I always hear Australian players saying that they sat up overnight and watched it. Well, you know, I, I followed this competition from being there to a grasshopper. And, uh, you know, when you're born and bred down Weldon Lane, it's, it's always been very special. And in 1969, you know, I remember Malcolm Reilly getting his Landstock trophy down at Wembley and the one again in 70. And then I was fortunate enough to be involved in 86. And it's just carried on from there. And there's been some great, great stories within the Challenge Cup, but I've had also a great history within the Challenge Cup, and obviously I'd like another page or two yet. Those Eagle fans and the players, they have created history, and that's the man who's done it, John Keir, the Sheffield Eagles coach. Obviously he's, he's played a bigger part in, in, in what he's done as a coach with um, uh, with winning the, the Challenge Cup firstly, an unbelievable experience for him and Sheffield Eagles and, and then at Hull. So as a coach he's he's had a bit of a Midas touch on, on the Challenge Cup and he'll be he'll be looking to do do that again. But us, for us it's about focusing on what we do and making sure that they don't get the opportunity this time. The only disadvantage is that you know Daryl Powell and Liam Finn know what it's like to come here and how difficult it is to play here because uh, you know, it's not the easiest place to play, and you can see behind, you know, with, with the slope, but uh, they've got experience of the championship, and also I think they've got respect for the championship, and, and sometimes you can get Super League teams perhaps who, who don't give you that, so th that factor's taken out of it, so that's a negative, but a positive for me personally is, you know, I've got great emotional ties with Castleford, I'm absolutely delighted that the, the, they are the success story of Super League so far, but obviously I'd, I'd like them to be uh, a little disappointed uh, on Sunday at about four o'clock. Castleford became a city of black and amber on Sunday afternoon as thousands filled the streets to welcome home their younger heroes and the Soap Cup Challenge Cup. Obviously you know, there's been numerous finals where uh, Castleford had gone and won the trophy and history is, is rich and we'd like to add a little bit more history if we can. We know it's going to be, be tough, um, obviously start make sure we get this job done against Batley and then see, see where we go but um, th there's, there's been enough uh, problems in the last few years um, to make sure that, that we know we need to be really focused on, uh, on what we're going to do at the weekend. Yeah, We talk about it all the time, the history of the club and, um, and, and placing a little bit more history down ourselves if, if we can. Uh, so they're all aware of it, and I'll be I'll be showing them some some more stuff before the uh, before the weekend's game, just in terms of motivation and awareness of the of what this club stands for, and, uh, and obviously um, the, the Challenge Cup is it's central to to what this club's done in in the past, and like I say, if we can if we can sort of get there to, to Wembley, it'd be fantastic for us. Uh, but also just be aware that there's there's a, a lot of water to go on the bridge and, and it's one game at a time. You know, perhaps if it did throw it down and it was up to the ankles in mud, it might work for us. But I don't want it to be like that. I'd love it to be a fine Sunday, sunny day so that the crowds, you know, here, they can enjoy the rugby league and they can stand out in the open terraces and really enjoy the 80 minute that's going to be there. We're going to give it our all. If it's good enough, great. If it ain't good enough, we'll not die for the one to train. Yeah, well, you, you draw on all your experiences as a, as a coach and I've had some pretty good experiences as a, as a player. I've had some uh, invaluable ones as a coach, like you say, in the championship and, uh, and coming up against Super League teams. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's important that you, you use all that experience. So we've got Liam Finn and uh, Jamie Ellis who have both played at Batley and, and in the championship and, and also understand the mentality. And You use all that, you use everything you can to make sure that... Um, you get what you need in terms of a performance from your players.